although the copyright value of his own songs was worth well in excess of $100 million, the crown jewel of his investment strategy was his portfolio of other people's songs, especially those of the Beatles. Tell me about the music catalog, the publishing catalog that you advised Michael to buy. We started with the Sly and the Family Stone catalog. We bought some rock classics, People Get Ready by Curtis Mayfield, Dion the Belmont's Run Around Sue, The Wanderer, When a Man Loves a Woman, Great Balls of Fire, Shake, Rattle and Roll. But then one day I got the call that the Beatles catalog was for sale. It was called ATV Music. And it was, it was as if we'd hit the mo mother load. And you paid? The price was $47.5 million. And we later merged it with Sony's music publishing company to create one of the biggest publishers in the world, Sony ATV Music, that the estate to this day owns 50% of. And so how much is that worth today? I, I wouldn't want to speculate about what it's worth. But Come it, on, John. <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't make all this money in this town without knowing what your investments are worth. Uh, well, it would be speculation at this point. It's, uh, it's estimated to be worth like a billion dollars. Michael's half? Yes. Well, you know, you never really know what something's worth until you go to sell it. Uh, and we are not sellers. We're, we are not going to sell any assets. At the time of his death, Michael